So this is the contingency paper for chemistry unit two, so the triple foundation contingency paper. So the first question gives you um, different items and then at the bottom here gives you a list of different smart materials. So what you're expected to do is to pick the material and then identify the type of spark material used. So changes colour temperature is a baby feeding spoon and that's thermochromic and the t-shirts then would be photochromic. Then there's information about two different types of um, metals. Okay, the one is a shape memory polar, it means they reshape, the other one isn't, and then they're both placed in hot water, okay? This one, because it's a shape memory alloy, will reshape, this one will not, so you tick the box by there. Next one then says, sodium hydroxide turns universally to purple, so that means it's a strong alkali. Ethanol is neutral, what colour will it go? It would be green. Um, tick the box, then you've got nitrate, so it has to be nitric acid. Potassium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid would give you potassium chloride. And then you've got copper sulfate plus water, so copper, so it has to be copper oxide. They were nice, easy questions there, guys. Um, then there is one error in each of the students' diagrams. Okay, all this information here. Then So you have to circle the three errors for three marks. Okay, so I've circled them there. Next page, you have to circle the error. Next question then, they give you the ions, you have to circle the correct formula. And then finally, it says hydrogen gas is given off, identify the test for hydrogen gas, which would be gas pots with a lighted splint. Okay, so lit splint, squeaky pot. Um, then looking at the next question is an aluminium. An electrolysis question. The electrolyte is mixed. It's a mixture of molten aluminium oxide and cryolite. Okay, cryolite is added to lower the melting and boiling point. Okay, aluminium three plus attracted to the negative charge. Um, gas A is oxygen, and the the electrodes are made of graphite. Then you've got four aluminiums by here, so you need a four aluminiums by there. Then it says work out the relative formula mass, which so is working out the MR. You've got two aluminiums, three oxygens. Times them together, add them, you've got 102. Choose two properties from the box to make aluminium a better material than iron for making window frames, low density and resists corrosion. Um, the reactivity of the metals decreases down the group. Decreases down the group. And then you've got all this information to plot a graph. So plot a graph and then it was kind of like a curve of best fit. Circle the time all the zinc powder is used up is 40 because that's our top mark. So it's going to be 40 seconds. Um, complete the symbol equation. So copper is just copper on its own. Zinc sulfate then. You can get that from your table of ions, but in case you didn't know. Like that. Okay, underline what's happening. It's a displacement reactant. The more reactive metal will displace the less reactive metal. Blank page, okay, then lots of information here about three different plastics, okay, and this is the six mark QER. Then they want you to choose two main properties that make plastic suitable and give a reason why the properties are important. Okay, so I picked the visor, made of polycarbonate, high strength, so it doesn't break when hit, and it's also transparent so you can see through it. Then the tent is made of coated nylon, flexible, easy to handle, and waterproof, keeps content dry. Okay, so there's six marks there, six bullet points, six marks. Then a lot of information, okay, which I'm not going to read to you because you can read it on your own paper. A lot of information about plastics and recycling plastics. And then you had to um, tick the boxes, so read through the information. So there were marks to be had here that you could have gained by just reading through the information. So PET, HDPE and PP are easy to recycle. The plastic items still contain food waste and the items are made of more than one type of plastic. And then there's the answer to this one here, the greatest demand for recycling. You can see that there. So it's a nice, easy one mark. Um, then, next one, name and draw different hydrocarbons. So the first one's methane, it's got one carbon, methane. Second one, ethane then. Big things to remember here is carbon's got four bonds, hydrogen's got one. So you can kind of work out what's going on. This is a nice, easy question. How many carbons do you have? How many hydrogens do you have? And that one's all filled in. Name the two elements present, so carbon and hydrogen. There were marks to be had here, but you didn't need any... Um, scientific knowledge. Um, give the molecular formula containing six carbons, so 6N plus 2, H2N plus 2, so that would be H14. 
Um, looking at the double bond then, when you've got that double bond, it breaks and you add the BRs on, okay? It doesn't really matter where you put the BRs, okay, within that. That becomes more complicated when you get to A level, but for this it doesn't, okay? Ethene turns orange, bromine water colourless, and this is a type of addition reaction, okay? Nice then kind of question for two marks. So the charge, so it's gained one, so it's negative, and it's gained one, so it's electron structure changes. Write the balance equation to form sodium fluoride. So it'll be NaF because it's Na plus F minus, like that. And then there's two of them. Again, a nice question for two marks here, drawing the electron structure of a covalent bond because they're going to share that one electron there because they are both non-metals. Okay, they're both non-metals, that's why they share. Okay, um, kind of an easy question here. That's most probably why it was only worth one mark. So you've got H, H, and F, F. Add them together, and that should add up to 590. That's all they're asking you to do there for a mark. And then use the information to calculate total energy release when two HF molecules are formed. So you find HF times by two. There's the answer. These are quite easy questions. You must receive they're worth one mark. Okay. Um, it's exothermic, so tick the right graph. That would be an endothermic one. That's nothing. Okay. So cross that out, and then that's endo. Um... Dacotin is a boiling point of 174. Give the fraction that contains it. So you're looking for something that's got 174 in it. It's going to be this one, just above it. One alkane contains both diesel and lubricating oils. So it's going to be this one, because they've both got C T in them. Give the fraction where the demand is 100% higher than the supply. So you have to look and see, pick the one. Okay, that isn't 100% there. That's not 100% there. Okay, so you can kind of see that it's got to be that one. Um, the demand is greater than the supply up to carbon-16. After that, the supply is debating the ground. So it's basically describing what you can see in the graph. Okay. Um, it has to add up to 20 and 42. So it's actually a nice question. It has to add up to 20 and 42. So you can kind of work out what you've got left. Okay. To make polypropene, it's got the word in it. It's polymerization. It's making a plastic. Um, so we're looking at a forest fire and then you've got three methods and how we can, what part of the fire triangle they remove. So a fire break would remove the fuel, water would remove the heat, and then beating would remove O2. You could have got a mark for saying pumping in um, CO2, but it's not as um, easy to maintain. Qu harder question now looking at the contact process. So burn raw material A in air to produce sulfur dioxide. That's oxygen, okay, because you get the sulfur and then you add the oxygen in to make sulfur dioxide. Kind of was a bit of a clue there with the oxide. Um, pass sulfur dioxide over vandium, okay, produce, and then you have to add a bit of water to oleum to produce concentrated sulfuric acid. State the purpose of the vandium oxide is catalyst to speed up the reaction, and then a balanced equation for stage two. So you've got sulfur dioxide, plus oxygen makes sulfur trioxide. Um, state the trend, so it decreases as you increase the temperature. So you can see that as you increase the temperature, the percentage yield decreases. Give the temperature range to be used to obtain a yield of sulfur trioxide greater than 80, so that's 300 to 500. Complete the equation. Again, all you were doing was adding them together. So how many hydrogens do you have? Two. How many sulfurs did you have? Two. How many oxygens did you have? Seven. And putting them in to form the oleum. Nice mark. Name the two products that are formed. is carbon and water, and it's a dehydration reaction. Okay? Like always, you get additional. Make sure if you're using this, you write the question number down the side. And you get negative. Any type of ion, not just negative ions. Ions and, and a periodic table.